about a week ago, the, the TV station started telling about this big storm that we had coming in, and they first started talking about ice, which ice is about the worst thing that we can have, in my opinion. So that's, that was really concerning, ba especially based on the ice storm we had last year that we lost power for over a week. So that, that really got our attention, but then as it turned out, we didn't get much ice, but we are getting snow. Maybe not quite as much as they were predicting, but, but I'm guessing two to three inches so far. It's snowing right now, so we'll see. I mean, even just a couple inches of what we got now, that's enough to keep the cows from eating, eating the grass. So you gotta, gotta get the hay out to them. So it, as storms go, this hasn't been just horrible. I mean, it hasn't been great, but it hasn't been horrible. <laughs> Yeah, since we had quite a bit of warning for this storm, yeah, to, to prep early this week, I got out and I got quite a few of the hay bales that were sitting outside and I put them inside so I wouldn't have ice and snow to contend with. Every day when it's got snow on the ground, every day checking on them and making sure they're all getting up and around good and coming to eat and checking the ice on the ponds so they can drink. Yeah, I mean, cattle, I mean, they adapt. I mean, they're, they're way hardier than what you would think. They can, they can survive a lot, and they don't seem to even mind it a whole lot. As long as you give them something to eat, they seem, they seem like they get through it just fine. Normal, on a normal weather, I mean, feeding cows, I mean, you know, a couple, three hours at the most, but when it gets storms, it slows everything way down, and that's pretty much, pretty much you can book the whole day if the weather's real bad, and that's so you just everything else gets shelved just to take care of the cattle. I guess it's dedication, but it's just one of the things you just expect it and you do it. I mean, it's it's just part of the part of being a farmer. You just deal with whatever weather you come. I mean, you just deal with it and don't even really think about it really as being anything out of the ordinary. You expect a couple storms every winter and you just, you know, expect it to happen and you just do it. It's 100 degrees we're out. If it's zero degrees we're out, it's just it's part of part of being a farmer rancher. Ha, 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 ha.